AF burden is defined as the proportion of time that someone is in atrial fibrillation during the period of monitoring, and it's expressed as a percentage of the total time. We know that you know AFib can vary in frequency and duration. Patients can have very short episodes of AFib and it can have multiple episodes of AFib that are short, or they may have one long episode of AFib, but we can quantify burden in both instances. And I think it's an important concept to, to kind of understand for a lot of us who take care of these patients because uh, it really highlights the point that AF is not a, uh, a binary condition. And, you know, sometimes that's, that's a challenging kind of concept to understand because historically, when we really think of other types of arrhythmias like supraventricular tachycardias or um, atrial flutter, they're really discrete um, arrhythmias that have a discrete anatomical construct. And atrial fibrillation isn't that, it's a chronic condition. And when people talk about AF burden, what we're really trying to figure out is what percentage of the time is this person in atrial fibrillation versus in a normal rhythm. It can be helpful in determining whether you're appropriately managing that person, but also in telling us the risk of that person. How likely do we think they are to have, you know, embolic stroke, blood clots, et cetera, and also really helps to guide therapy uh, to help us determine if the AFib is high, maybe we need more antiarrhythmics, more medications, definitely would want to encourage anticoagulation if that's appropriate. So the AFib burden really helps us to know how successful we are with ablation and whether or not we're appropriately managing these patients. And to basically get an assessment of AF burden, you have to be able to monitor someone for long periods of time. And if you're gonna monitor for someone for long periods of time, the best way to do so is with an implantable cardiac monitor because it can give you information for up to five years of monitoring. Within that five years, I can't think of anybody that I haven't found significant AFib burden in. Being on top of that AFib burden and getting in there early makes our medication and our ablation work far better at restoring sinus rhythm. The earlier we get in there, the better we do.